Hi, my name is Bibeke and welcome to Diving Dogs Crochet. Today I want to show you yet another bag tutorial. If you want to see all my other bags, then go ahead and check out the playlist on my channel page. So today I will show you how to crochet this little knot bag. I will take you through the whole process from the beginning to the end. So first I will be showing you how to make the bottom, then we work up along the body of the bag, and then finally we make these straps. Then you take the long strap, insert through this small strap like this, and then you have a little knot bag. I will also leave a link for the written pattern if you prefer that instead of a video tutorial. So let's begin. First a little about the materials. For the yarn I've used this 100% cotton. This is a sport weight 2, but I have put it double, so you can use a medium weight 4, that will give you the same result. Um, this is an army green color. I will write in the description how much yarn I have used for this bag. Then I have used a 4mm crochet hook and some scissors, a tapestry needle, and a few stitch markers. We begin with a chain, so make a slip knot and start a chain. So yarn over and pull through and we will chain up 30 in total. When we have 30 chains, we will now skip the first chain, move on to the second chain and single crochet into this. Then find your next chain, single crochet into this. Do one single crochet in every chain all the way across. We chained up 30 and we skipped the first one, so you should have 29 single crochet when you're all the way across. But in the final chain you will work three single crochet in the same chain. First I will place a stitch marker in the last single crochet I did, in the single crochet I just did. And then in the final chain, I'll do three single crochet in this same stitch. So one, two, three single crochet. And now we are working on the back side of the chain. So we just did all these single crochet on this side. Now we turned with the three single crochet and then we will work in the back loops of the chains. So now we will work one single crochet in this next chain on the opposite side of the chain. So one single crochet in the first one and then I will place a stitch marker in this. And then I will work one single crochet in every chain all the way across on the other side on the other side of the chain. So we have these three stitches on this other side of these stitch markers where we turn and then we will just work straight ahead on this side of the stitch markers. So one single crochet in every chain all the way across. And again in the final stitch I will work three single crochet in the same stitch. So First I place a stitch marker in the stitch I just finished and then work three single crochet in the next and final stitch. So one, two and three. Now we're all the way at the beginning. So in this first stitch I will work two single crochet in the same stitch. One, two, and then place a stitch marker and then work one single crochet in every stitch all the way across. When we're all the way at the other end, we now have the stitch markers. We will work one single crochet in the stitch where the stitch marker is and then 
two single crochet in these three and then one single crochet over here. So first we remove the first stitch marker. Then we work one single crochet in this stitch. Just one single crochet. And then in the next three, we increase. So two single crochet in every stitch. That's one. Two. And then the next stitch, two single crochet in the same stitch. And then two single crochet in the third stitch. And then only one single crochet in this stitch where the stitch mark is. So remove it. And then work one single crochet in this stitch. I didn't insert the stitch markers again because we will not be using these anymore. So now we will only work one single crochet in every stitch. So just one single crochet in every stitch all the way across. And when we make it all the way to the other end, we have this stitch marker. And then we should have three stitches from this stitch marker. But I think this was one step too early. So you can see we have the stitch marker and then one, two, three, four stitches. We should only have three. And this is these uh, three. So we will remove this stitch marker. And then we will work one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one single crochet and then one single crochet. And then we have these three stitches on top. We will be working two single crochet into each of these stitches, just like the other end. So one single crochet, two single crochet in the same stitch. Then the next stitch, also two single crochet. And two single crochet in the third stitch. So now we turn the corner again and we will remove this final stitch marker. So now we have the bottom of the bag. We will now just be working up the, the sides of the bag. So we will just be working in rounds and we will be working in spirals. So just work around and around one single crochet in every stitch all the way around and around. Just keep working one single crochet in every stitch. Until it measures about 16 centimeters in height. By the way, this one measures about 22 centimeters across. Now we will work on the straps. So we have the crochet hook over here and we will now be working on so don't cut the yarn. So from the edge on, we will now work 10 single crochet. So just regular 10 single crochet. That's one, two, and 10. That's the base of the first strap. Then we chain one and turn. Then we skip this chain one we did, move on to the second stitch and single crochet into this. And that's one stitch. We will work 10 single crochet in total all the way across. And that's 10. Then we chain one, turn the work, then skip this chain and work in your second stitch, one single crochet. And then repeat this step again and again. So work your way back and forth with 10 stitches until the strap meshes 12 centimeters in total from the bottom.
And then when I have about 12 centimeters, I will now cut the yarn. So leave a bit of a tail because we need something to sew the strap. And then pull this yarn through the loop. Just pull it through. I have control. Oh, sorry, I have control. I'm taking my time. That's it. Then I will be working on the other strap. So grab the yarn again and then count 10 stitches. So this is the first one all the way out on the edge. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Insert the hook in the 10th stitch. Then fasten the yarn. I just tie a knot. Then insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, and then chain one. And work a single crochet in this stitch, in the 10th stitch. So just insert the hook and single crochet. And then a single crochet in the next stitch. And then one single crochet in every stitch all the way to the first one. So you have 10 single crochet. And then you work your way up just like the other one. But this one was 12 centimeters. This one you will be working 30 centimeters. So 10 single crochet back and forth for 30 centimeters. So now we have this 12 centimeter strap over here and a little longer, a 30 centimeter strap over here. And now we want to connect these straps to the rest of the bag. So you will as well as the other side cut the yarn on this one and pull this yarn through the loop and you are now ready to sew it on. So thread your needle with the yarn and zoom in the camera so everyone can see what you're doing. Then you fold the strap down and now you're ready to attach it to the bottom of the bag. And you will just sew it on this one and this one, sew them together. I will do the mattress stitch. You can do whatever stitch you like for attaching something. The mattress stitch, I think it's the most invisible stitch. That is where you go in between the two layers from the bottom and up the opposite side, like this. Then you come from the other side in between the two layers from the bottom and up the opposite side. And again, between the two layers from the bottom and up the opposite side. And then you continue all the way across. And on the other side as well, fold this down and sew it on the base of the back. And then when you're done, you have your little bag. Then you take your big strap or your longest strap and put it inside of the little one. And then you have this little knot and you can put it on your arm and you are ready to go. So that's it. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.